Hey, hello everybody, it's Super13, and today I'm back with to you with coaster school number five. Now today, we're going to be finishing the layout with our coaster. I know, it's so happy. So we're basically gonna make it go underneath this track here, over this track, an airtime hill, and into the brake run right there. It's gonna be a short coaster, but obviously, this is not the coaster you should be building. If you're copying this, then, um, well, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. But um, so hopefully starting next video, depending on how this one goes, we should be beginning the supports for this coaster. I'm just going to do some standard steel supports, and I'm going to make a nice catwalk for the lift hole with nice pretty fences and stuff too. So look forward to that. That will probably be the next video. And anyway, on with the lift hill. Actually, sorry, not on with the lift hill. What am I going today? Um, make sure you join my Discord, please. It's the link of the... Link is in the description. So anyway, I'm going to start editing at the selected piece right here. And I'm just going to make sure my heart line's on just a little bit. Not too much. Since we are out of inversion, we don't want an insane amount of heart line because we don't want it to be extremely rough. I'm just going to do a lot of banking right here so that it doesn't interfere with this track. If you don't have the disable collisions pass, that will probably not work out for you. I'm sorry. This will collide. But... You know, sometimes you have to deal with what you gotta deal with. I strongly recommend getting that no collisions pass, by the way. Anyway, doing just a little bit of a curve here, making sure my banking's right. Obviously, that looks horrible. I'm gonna, oh, and my computer's frozen again. There we go. Hopefully, good thing that wasn't. But by the way, if my computer freezes, I'm just gonna do plugs. So, stay tuned for that. Anyway, ending on with this and making sure my banking stays nice. Now my banking isn't all sudden. I'm evening my banking now. I'm not having too much. I'm not having too little. And as I just said, banking a lot. So let's just finish this up. And I'm going to have it pop right up around here. I don't have too much room for an airtime hill, actually. But I'm just going to have it come right up. I'm going to snap it to the grid, like, right here. And my computer froze. I'm going to snap it to the grid right there. And it's going to turn right into the station, just like that. It should be nice and smooth. And my computer's frozen. So hopefully this video doesn't turn out too bad. I'm trying it not to be. And there we go. I'm just going to have a little bit more banking here so that it looks a little bit cooler. Tilt this down, making sure that my banking is nice, not too sudden. And then I'm going to rise this up, slowly running out of banking. You, bright, you guys know what to do by now. I've explained this plenty of times. And I'm going to snap this right into the grid. Oh, right. Oh, snap it. Gotta find a good place to snap it. If I can find one right there, um, that's kind of rough. But here, let me show you how to do it. So if you ever snap to grid, that's actually a good point. If you ever snap to grid and it looks really rough, I'll show you what to do. So I'm just gonna leave that like they're rough for now. I'm gonna build a little bit of a break run. And I'm just gonna have this turn right into the station. And there we go, the coaster is almost finished. Not quite. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out of that. I'm going to go right here, right before the break run where it's jolty. I'm going to edit at selected piece. I'm going to delete a couple of these. And I'm going to see if I can connect it with a long piece. If it's too long, there we go. In that case, it's not too long. If it's too long and it turns red, build a smaller piece in front of it. And try and plan where the track is going to go around so you don't have it really jolty. It's kind of hard for beginners, but once you figure out the depths and turns of the coaster, then you'll get the hang of it and start to be able to do that easier. Anyway... This is our coaster. As you can see, it is all finished. We have a nice little square layout. We will be starting, obviously, the supports for the lift hill tomorrow. And that should be pretty cool. Let's just give this coaster a test ride, the first ever complete test ride. So let's give this a little ride real quick. Make this very nice. Nice and smooth drop. Very nice. Indeed. Once again, if you haven't, if you aren't in my Discord by any chance, click the link in the description to be able to join it. There's a ton of cool stuff that goes on there. Everybody just hangs out, talks. I post announcements, giveaways, all that kind of cool stuff. And there we go, running right into the brake run, turning into the station. That is a very nice, smooth, and well done coaster, in my opinion. It only took about two weeks to complete this. But. Once again, in the next episode, we are going to be working on the lift hill support, so stay tuned to that. And this is going to be it for Coaster School number five. I will see you guys in the next episode of Coaster School. Till next time, goodbye.